Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at another figure from the Vintage Collection Phantom Menace Wave. And today we're going to take a look at the Pod Racer Rats Tyrell. Um, this is a very small little figure. Um, definitely not particularly a value for money piece. Which is why Hasbro decided to include this guy with him. It's of course a pit droid. So you'd get two figures for the price of one, albeit very small ones, but they're very cool. And I'll talk about them in a little bit more detail later on in the review. So before we do that, we're going to take a look at the packaging that this one comes in. Once again, we have the typical vintage collection packaging. We have the Phantom Menace logo at the top there, with the name tab underneath. An image on the card. And of course, the contest sticker there. On the back, we have the 12 back layout with all the figures available in the wave pictured on the back. As well as a few vehicles as well. And you may notice that the image on the card back is taken from the scene in the film just prior to his death when he goes flying into the rock and makes that really weird screeching sound. Well, not a screech, it's, such, it's more like a honk, sort of goes and then blows up. It was a little bit weird, wasn't it? Sorry. <laughs> but there we go, that is the packaging that this one comes in. On to the figure itself. We'll talk about Rats Tyrell first. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the name of his species, I've completely forgotten them, um, but what I can tell you is that these guys do appear in the Clone Wars, and also Jedi Master Su Choi from the Expanded Universe is a member of this species as well. If anyone can remember, feel free to leave a comment. Um, the figure itself is really nice, um, looks a little bit like he's wearing a diaper, um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it's really well sculpted and for a figure of the size really nicely articulated as well. He has a ball jointed neck, balling shoulders, swivel wrists, a swivel waist, swivel hips and unfortunately no articulation in the knees or ankles. But again for a figure of this size it's not too bad. Um, he does come with a blaster pistol, although while he's pod racing I'm not entirely sure what use that's going to do him. And also as you'll see he's wearing set of flight goggles and a flight cap which can indeed be removed. We've got a very strange frog like looking head sculpt underneath. It does look a lot better with that attached and it's a nice fit. So it's really well over the head. It looks pretty cool. He also has a small decal, just dropped the blaster, apologies about that. He has a small decal just on his chest there, I'm just going to zoom in on that to give you a better idea. But he has a small decal on his chest there which I believe is the same one that appears on the front of his pod racer. Which is very very cool. Hopefully you can get a better look at the overall figure this way as well. So there we go, that's Rats Tyrell. And now we're going to take a look at the pit droid that's included. Now from what I gather, this is basically just a repainted Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace 1999 release of the pit droid. Although he's been given a new deco. Um, very limited in terms of articulation. This guy actually only has a ball jointed neck, swivel shoulders and swivel hips. Um, his legs have also been pre-posed in this sort of stepping forward motion and this makes him a little bit difficult to stand especially considering his build, he's very skinny um, but what I do like about this pit droid is the fact that he has these really cool little decals on the top of his head which again, just to give you a better appreciation of those, I'll zoom in in HD for you again, feel free to whack these up to 1080p and, uh, you can get a good look at these Nicely weathered as well. And remember, if these guys start to play up, just hit the nose. It's a pretty cool little figure as well. More of an accessory, really, than a figure, but cool nonetheless. And uh, again, it's definitely one of those figure sets that is quite good value for money because you get two, seemingly for the price of one. 
So there we go. That's Rats Tyrell and the Pit Droid from the Vintage Collection. Hope you've enjoyed having a look at these guys, and I'll be back with more reviews soon. Until next time, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.